What's up everybody? Welcome to the Deep North. As always, I'm Anthony and for today's episode, we've got a Holiday Inn Express edition. That's right, I'm in a Holiday Inn Express traveling a lot for work, but I still wanted to bring you some content, so I thought I'd do one right here from the hotel room. And today, we're looking at some Adidas Aero Ready Compression Socks. When making sock packaging, there's three key categories to look at. It's your front panel of the belly band, your hanger or hanger style, and of course, your graphics. We're gonna touch on all three of those topics. Let's get started. When reviewing the front panel of a belly band, it's one of the most important parts or aspects of the package because it's what it's the first thing that the consumer sees. So I, you don't wanna overpower uh, your belly bands with and have it be you know this hot, this wide and making it you know cover or conceal the product especially when talking socks so i like to stick around three to four inches uh preferably three uh three and a half if you want to um you know split the difference but that gives you just enough space to really you know imprint your logo right here in the middle have everyone see it you can put you know categories here and there of like either what your sock is the size um, the color, what style it is, things like that. But your front panel is your focal point on this package. Getting away from the uh, front panel here, your next focus or focal point is the hanger. So depending on what kind of product you have, what style, are the different sizes, that's gonna really depend how heavy your product is. That all kind of depends on you know what kind of hanger you're gonna use and what's your price point. So these being $20 socks, or $20 pack of socks, they have a pretty good price point here. So they went with a black injection molded hanger and uh, they're cheaper because this does not say Adidas or it doesn't have an Adidas um, print on it. But um, you wanna make sure that this hanger is facing the right way because 90% or more of the population is right-handed. So when a right-handed person comes to grab it off the shelf, they pull it to the right. So if you have it flipped and you're left-handed like me, it's kind of awkward because you take it and then you do that thing and you come around. Um, so you don't want people to struggle. You want to just go off and on, off and on, um, especially if you have variability in your product. I really like this hanger. It's simple, it's, it's cheap, which is always good when talking packaging in some instances, especially, you know, belly band hang, hung packaging. And uh, it's to the point and it gets you what you need. All right, let's dive into the graphics. Look at these. This is one of my favorite, if not my favorite part of this package is the graphics. So they used a matte finish, a black matte finish with a blue stripe up here or blue color bar call out. And then they have a picture on the back. You may not be able to see it, um, on the video here, but the, anything in white on the entire package has a high gloss finish on it. And the logo even has a slight texture because of the high gloss, so they probably used a couple coats. Uh, it's, it's very minimalistic, and I love that in this regard because you're targeting the brand, you're targeting Adidas. You want Adidas to be the focal point, and Adidas is absolutely the focal point uh, with this graphics. and. One thing that I've done uh, for a lot of my career is do color callouts. So like this blue at the top, it's a fantastic way to differentiate your product types, uh, especially with socks, for example. So like if you have basketball, baseball, compression, leisure, casual, um, any kind of sport, football, uh, you can separate or differentiate your those products by color with like a blue bar, a red bar, a yellow bar, a pink bar, um, an orange bar, and your customers over time will have brand recognition with those colors and specifically look for those colors to find the socks that they need. And it's something that I did with Academy Sports when I worked on their account back in the day and they still use those color callouts today on their sock packaging. So I love seeing something like this and uh, it's a very well done design and gets right to the point so the customer can see you know, how many pairs, what's the size, and easily what's the brand. You'll see I've already kind of pulled back this wafer seal, but
but this belly band is actually an adhesive belly band, so it sticks to the socks. And it's one piece, non-scored, with a tacky adhesive. And you don't always have to have this band be tacky with adhesive, but in this case they did it because one, you know your band's not gonna fall off and it, get, it provides for more variability. I highly recommend um, having a, a tacky paperboard band on your sock packaging if you're doing a higher end package because it wraps around your product more, you know it's not gonna fall off and it's gonna stay in the same spot. So I love that feature on this, but if you're a little price conscious, you don't have to go that route, but it's recommended. So overall, I would say this is an A plus package. I wouldn't change a thing on it. I absolutely love the matte black, the high gloss white, the color band on the top. You've got even some, you know, call outs on the back about drying technology, the compression, it shows the, sh the sock in shape, um, the price. So very well done package. The hanger's recyclable, the belly band's recyclable. Great job. I don't think on this specific package I would change a thing, but if you wanted to use less plastic, you can easily get rid of this hanger and move to a paperboard belly band waterfall style package. And I'll review one of those um, later just so you can see what that is. Uh, that's just the whole sock package could be made with paper. Um, if you didn't want to hang your socks and you knew your socks were going e-commerce, I would 100% I would get rid of this plastic hanger and, and just use this belly band. So there are modifications that you can do depending on your situation. And that does it for today's episode of this Holiday Inn Express. I'm Anthony. You've been watching the Deep North Packaging Reviews channel. As this channel evolves, and I do more and more of these videos, maybe I'll do a little more designing, a little more drawing, a little more concepting, but uh, stay tuned. I'll have more videos out soon. Thank you.